Cardiff went into this game without an away win all season, having won just one of their last eight Rabo Direct Pro 12 games and with memories of their defeat at home to Zebra earlier in the campaign. Flanker Rory Watts-Jones, Tom Williams and Chris Dicomedes, the three changes for Phil Davies' side from the team beaten at home to Leinster last time out. That win away to Blues in September was Zebra's first in the league and they were looking to achieve an historic double in this encounter. Three Italian internationals returned, Orquera, Yanone and Aguero came into the side to supplement the five permit players in the squad. Referee Gary Conway was taking charge of his first ever Rabo Direct Pro 12 game. And the Italians made a dream start in the wet and slippery conditions. As they attacked the Cardiff line in the third minute, it looked like the chance might have been wasted, but Brendan Leonard, who was man of the match in the win in Cardiff, dived over the line for the touchdown. The referee asked for the TMO's assistance with the possibility of a knock-on in the build-up, but the decision was that the ball had gone backwards between Felipe Ferrarini's legs and the try could stand. Kelly Hemona landed a fine conversion to give Zebre a 7-0 lead with just three minutes gone. Blues were finding it hard to get into the game, but they did pull three points back in the seventh minute when Gareth Davies kicked a penalty for the Welsh side's first points of the afternoon. But it was the Italians who were dominating territorially. They weren't making that dominance pay, however. Hemona had three kicks at goal and all were off target. This the third, a miss kick that screamed of lack of confidence. As the rain continued to hammer down, conditions were proving really difficult. But with Watts Jones in the sin bin, the home side extended their lead. Cardiff fullback Tom Williams made a complete hash of Luigi Ferraro's kick ahead. And Giulio Tognolati collected to run clear to the line for Zebre's second try of the afternoon. That was the winger from Rome's first try of the season and one that gave Zebre a nine-point lead. Yanone took over kicking duty with the conversion attempt, but his effort was just off target, and so it stayed 12-3. Blues did come close to getting right back into it when they had Zebre defending in front of their own line. The ball reached Williams, who fed Harry Robinson on the wing, but the Italians did just enough to bundle the winger into touch and the danger was averted. Zebre 12-3 ahead at the break. Ten minutes into the second half, Blues got the boost of a well-worked try. Davies picked out Gavin Evans, who in turn passed to Williams and the full-back atoned for his earlier error, crossing over for the five points. The man from Bridge End's first ever score for Cardiff and when Davies slotted over the conversion, it was 12 points to 10. Zebre had a good chance to stretch that lead back to five points with a penalty from substitute Luciano Orquera, but the home side's misfortune with the place kicks continued as the Italian international's effort slid wide and right. However, in the 65th minute, Orquera put things right when Zebre were awarded a penalty in a central position after Blues were penalised for not rolling away. This time the out-half's kick was true and the Italians led 15-10 to the delight of coach Cavinato and the Zebre supporters. As the game moved into the final 10 minutes, Cardiff came close to an equalising try. Dan Fish on the wing made the run and cleverly kicked ahead. It looked like a nailed-on try for sub Ellis Jenkins, but the spin of the ball worked to Zebre's advantage and the defenders were able to get back to hold the Welshmen out. Eventually, Blues knocked on when pressing for the score. It was proving to be that sort of day for Phil Davies' side and Zebre remained 15-10 in front. Into the final minute, the Italians retreated into defence and invited Blues pressure, 
It looked like the visitors were going to escape right at the end when Fish and Robinson combined on the wing to score a match-saving try. But the referee once again asked for the TMO to confirm that the try was good. And after some deliberation, the word came back that there had been obstruction in the build-up to the score. OK, no try, okay. obstruction. No try. It seemed like a harsh call on the Welshmen. Jenkins penalised for obstruction. But the Italians could celebrate only a second ever home victory, a third win of the season, and their first ever double over any opposition. The celebrations at the end said it all. Zebre may be at the wrong end of the table, but they can still cause teams problems on their day. Another historic afternoon for Cabanato's men. Blues will need to try to lift themselves for a meeting with Ospreys next time. Final score, Zebre 15, Cardiff Blues 10.